Hello, it's Sally here at Dotty B. Welcome to my channel. Um, I just um, found myself with an hour spare, so I was just um, sorting through my um, fabrics and whatnot and just tidying out a drawer, really. This um, little bundle here oops, has come out of my scrap drawer. Um, when I'm doing projects um, and I've got little offcuts, um, I don't really know that they're kind of quite small. So I just pop them. I've got a little drawer to the side of me and I just pop them in there um, and just leave them really to build up. So this is, um, I've gone through and I've um, I've had a sort out because some were really tiny, tinier than that actually. So I've kind of put them to one side to do something else with maybe. Um, and these are what I've um, picked out um, to have a go at a um a snippet roll um meditation scroll type thing um i've had this bobbin um i think i finished this bobbin um last summer and it's just been hanging around and um i thought i would use this with my scraps and i've just gonna dig out some let me just put those to the one side uh some cotton this is just um i think it's old bed sheeting um that i've got um I've had it for a while it's lovely and soft it's really really nice so uh, the piece i've got is um is this piece here this is all i've got left so i'm just using what i've got really so i would have liked it term um, longer but what i can do is i've cut strips and then i can join them as i'm going along so i think this is about 45 centimeters in length which i've cut the strips and then i think they're about um what were they four centimeters i think it was four centimeters which is just over one and a half inches it was kind of what i've done is i've took my um bobbin and just kind of measured measured how once it's wrapped around my bobbin how it will fit so i think that's plus once i'm putting other fabrics on they may overlap a little bit and whatnot and um so that's kind of the idea that i've got and it's just something that i'm going to be able to pick up every so often when i've got a you know a little bit of spare time between projects and i can just have a little go at so um the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to take one of the one of the strips for now um and just start adding my fabrics Oops, i've gone all over the place my fabrics too so um, i'm going to start at one end and then i'm going to leave one end free just so that i can I can attach this one to when I get to the end of it. So I'm just going to start here and just lay down some fabrics. So I'm um, just going to pick some fabrics up and place them basically. So I'm going to start with a, a large-ish piece. So I'll have that one there. And um, because these are all scraps that I've used in my projects, they're kind of, I suppose it's all fabric that I am drawn to anyway. So it kind of does, it doesn't look, when they're all clustered together, it doesn't look as though there's any that are really out of place. Probably that's probably a little bit too dark maybe, but I might even be able to find a space for it, the um, the dark green. But um, it looks nicer on the back, actually. It's, um, it's a little bit paler on the back, a little bit more muted. Um, so I'm hoping that all of the scraps will kind of, go together to make a harmonious scroll so that's that's my hope anyway so um we'll see how we go this here has got a little bit of a curled edge on which i'm going to have to just um flatten out a little bit but it will once i'm sewing on it it'll be fine like that there quite wide enough. Have a rummage and see what there is. I want to um what's that one? Oh it's the same isn't it? Hmm that's quite nice. I like the edge on that. I'll we'll have that I'll move up a little bit. Oops <laughs> I've just pulled one one piece off Okay, let's try that again. In fact, I'm going to just put this, I'm just going to get my scissors and make, just make this a little bit smaller. It's a little bit too large, I think. Yeah, that's better. Got some of this. Um, 
this is Sanderson. It's not pink. And I might, I might also put little bits of lace on and whatnot as well. You can go there. Okay, so let's just pull it up a little bit and work my way around. I like that bit of green fabric. So these are just little tiny strips that can so easily just be chucked out because you think, oh, I'm not going to use that kind of thing. I'm not going to use that little piece again. But um, they all come in handy. I like that. I want to use that, but um, not there. Let's just try and find something possibly a little bit plainer. I've got some. Oh, that's nice as well. Um, I think that's the same as my base fabric, so I'm not going to use that. I'd like a little bit of linen, if possible. Like that, oh, that's pretty as well. I like that. Um, what else have we got? That's a stem off a flower, I think. <laughs> I've cut the flower out and not used the stem, or well, not used as much of the stem as, I, as it was there. I think there was a bit of a stem. Do I want that zigzaggy bit on? No, just take that off. Can go on a little bit here. What could go there? What have they got? got some blue. Oh, I've got some red as well. Pop of red, maybe. I quite like that there, but I do like the red as well. I'd quite like a little pop. Pop of red. Perhaps not that much. Let's let's halve that. Okay, let me just shuffle, 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 shuffle along a little bit. Like that, um, quite like that. Um, what else have we got? Shall I try some of this green? What would this green that way? Yeah, I think so. I'm just going to cut it in half, kind of there. I like it's wonky, but that's fine, doesn't matter at all. Okay, what else have I got? I've got a little bit of pink. I'd quite like a little bit of pink on, but not probably not here. Um, I'd like another plain, plain piece. Um, oh, hang on, what's this? It's quite a large piece here. I'll have some of this. Yep, I like that. I'm just going to shuffle, 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 shuffle along a little bit more. Um, oh, I've got a nice little bit of gingham there. I like that. Where did that go? That will go all the way across. So that. And what did I just say I, was, I liked? Was it... Um, oh, pink, wasn't it? It was a pink piece. A bit of pink. I think I'll have. That's nice as well. The little green stripe. I'm going to just cut these. It's a little... It's gone. I'm just going to pop the, the frayed bit off a little bit. It's a bit too much fraying. Yeah, sorry, I did it off camera because I didn't want it to all float onto my onto my work. That oh, that's not just too narrow. Perhaps I could do it somewhere here. I do like that. Remembering I've got to join, so I'm not. Um, I could have it that way, I suppose. I quite like that. Just leave that there for a now. Oh, hang on, I've got the, just seen a little blue flower on that one. Um, right, let's move that off. In fact, I've got another little tiny... Oops. Okay. It's telling me to use it all. Right, I've got that there. I could probably use that. I've got a little bit of this um, kind of olive green that I like, but I like this blue, little blue flower as well. Um, 
yes i'm going to have that there and then choose one more choose one more um let's have a shuffle through and see what else we've got i've used that haven't i already i've got this this is like a silk but it's very very fine no it's too fine i think i've got some yellow flowers not quite the right size oh i've got that little pink piece that that's it look it's telling me to use that one it's the perfect size can't ignore it can you when it's saying use me i'm perfect perfect for this this pe this this place perfect for this place right so that's what i'm going to do so far there we go i'll just move it back along 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 um i think that's too big everything else is a little bit smaller um but i suppose i could put some lace over the top of it i'm going to leave it for now because i could put lace over the top so i'm just going to move so i've got that piece there that's quite nice it's just a little oddment a tiny little piece that um, i've cut off something same with i've just found that one as well i've just seen an oh <laughs> these are all going to be used that one's nice that's like right, little little dots that's perfect for the the width of it as well so that would be fine so i'm just going to move those out of the way for now though um and my fabrics out of the way so i'm not getting caught up in them i just need to tie this down um i could pin it or i could glue it and i'm going to glue it just because i think because some of those pieces are a little bit curly the glue might just hold it a little bit better so i'm going to just move those Move those off for now and glue this piece down and see how I get on with that and try and get this curly edge tied down. I'm not putting much on, it's just really just touching the glue so that it gets a little bit sticky. See how I go with that. My hands are quite sticky. I don't see any problem with this. There are downfalls to it. But where it's curling up, I just thought it would be easier for me. And I stitch. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Okay, so let's get this one down as well. Got them croaky. <clears throat> I'm really sorry. I don't know what's happening there. Try and press that bit down and then, yep, that's fine. That one, that's nice. I like the little little edge there. Then my rose and peony. So I'm just sticking those little tassely things down. Um, is that one next? I think that one was next, wasn't it? I thought I could hear church bells then. You might not be able to hear them because it's really faint, but it's not. It's the ice cream van in the middle of February coming round. <laughs> I didn't catch what song it was singing, but it was playing. But um, Do you have ice cream vans in other countries that come round selling ice creams? I wonder... Obviously, it's um, summer in Australia. I'm not sure what the weather's like in America at the moment, but um, we're still in winter time. But um, it's not it's not too bad at the moment. It's it's coldish, but I don't know if that's right. Really, I think I might need a little bit more on this one because it's not um, it's not going up to the edge. Might just need another little strip, um, possibly something like, oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, that's just fell out at me. Don't ignore it. It's going to be the perfect piece. I think it might be a little bit short, actually, but we will see. We can always put another something else on. That's nice because it's got a little edge to it as well. I like that. Okay, so we're moving. We're moving. I think what's happening is as I'm sticking them down, I'm kind of maybe putting them a little bit closer than I should do because... I've got a few gaps. I don't know. We'll see. I can always add more pieces. It doesn't matter. It's just using up my old scraps to make something pretty. Something nice. Was it that one next or was it that? I think it was that one. Oh, I've already got one of these. I didn't realise I'd used it twice. It doesn't matter. But, uh, there. That's nice, and not quite sure what I've done there. Um, what did I do? Because that fits there. But I like that one better. I'll pop this one in, and then we'll see what happens. I'm missing a piece now, aren't I? I've got a gap. I've got a gap. I could make that a bit smaller, maybe. Make it a bit smaller. Or I want so I think I'm I'm thinking something plain. Hmm. I've got that little piece of edging. going to go there. I'm going to pop this here instead. Um, I'm just looking for the right way. That's the right way. Like uh, that. Like so. I think I'm going to put it over a little bit. No, I can't get it over a little bit further. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put it there. Somewhere there. That's going to go there instead, and then I'm going to have more. I'll need one more piece, a little bit of um, what have I got? Um, boom, 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 boom. I have got a little bit of that. I'm putting that on. Um, no, that's the same as that one. I've got this here. Oops, a daisy. It's quite nice. Um, nope, 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 nope. Oh, back to finding pieces again. Now, aren't I? That's this. No, that's a different linen. That's a different linen to the one next to it. So I'm going to have that as a contrast. Let's just cut these edges off. So that's going to go next. Like, oops, I'm going to stick to it that, and then I'm going to put that edging back on. Just there. Okie dokie, let's move down. to take that and that that and that off um that's kind of stuck down underneath there. i'm just going to leave that so that's going to go there and then that's going to go there okay let's get some of these ones done Like that. A pop of red. Leave those two there for a moment. So that one, I think that one's got stuck down. Um, so 
this one next. There's a little gap there, wasn't there? Because I think I've got something else to go in here. Is that right? Is it that? I think it might have been that. Like that. And did I have that next? Something there. We'll be fine. Like that. Okay, so that's all done. That's lovely. Right, so we've got this green. I'll just make sure I've got that there. Oh, that, that curls up there. So let's get this piece on now. Oh, I'm going to put it the up. I'm going to, which way is it? I think it's that way. lovely gigam. I've had this for years and years and years. I think I bought it to upholster a chair or something and I never got round to it so I had lots of it. <laughs> but it's one of those things that's timeless isn't it gigam? It just doesn't go out of fashion. Always use a little bit somewhere. underneath. Does that one go next? Like that. And then this little bit of dusty pink. Like that. And then we've got this. And then I think I'm just going to keep this little bit free so that I can join and then start again. I think that will, I will get all this done or get some of it done first and just work on a small piece for now. So that goes there, whoops. So there we go. It's my little snippet roll or meditation roll, whatever you want to call it. I don't think I will be snipping in this one. This is just going to be something that I'm going to keep and work on for a little bit and then um, put onto my my scroll, my little... So already it's gone over the, the width of the reel, but once it's on... I'm not going to do too much of this because it's going to fall apart again. So it'll be like that. So I'm not sure how many strips I'll get on it just until... Maybe it makes it, I don't know, we'll see. I have got some more of these that aren't quite finished yet, but if I finish them, then I can, I can always make another one. So that's my first bit. And I'm going to start stitching. So I'm going to move all of my fabrics out of the way now and get some thread. So in my little box of tricks, I have picked out some threads. So I've got my my yellowy green that I always use so I'm going to be using that I've got some this is a DMC oh it's got a little pin in there is that a pin I can't be holding the thread because the thread's there I suppose it's it you wrap it round or something I don't know take that out anyway so yes so what was I saying this is a DMC um 40 crush it doesn't say crochet cotton. Oh, it does. Cotton for crochet. So anyway, that. A red and a blue. And that's going to be my um, my thread palette colour, colour palette for that. Um, and I need a needle. I need a needle. Let's go for that one there. Let's see how we get on with that one. So let's start with, let's start with my favourite. And all I'm going to start with is just a running stitch, I think, and just run with it. Just 
stitch, stitch, stitch. You can do whatever you like. I'm going to be doing some running stitch. I'm going to be doing some crosses. Um, I might do some herringbone stitch, I think. Just whatever pleases you. You can do whatever you like. Um, so all I'm going to do is just start here. And do a bit of a running stitch across to start with. I'm going to go all the way across. This also ties it down. You can also, to tie your threads down, you can also baste it as well or do your invis invisible stitch. But I'm going to see if I can just get away with it like this. Um, this, th this stripey one, what's it called, ticking, um, is quite a thick fabric so I can't, I'm finding it difficult, to, I can't run my fabric so rather than stress out about it I'm just going to do one stitch at a time so just going along and this isn't a project that I'm going to be finishing today it's a project that I'm going to be just carrying on and just doing whenever I feel like it just like if you've got half an hour and you haven't got anything to do and you're thinking oh, what can I do just pick up you pick up your cloth and start sewing so that's what I'm doing so I've got to the end and I'm just going to go to go back it's so relaxing I just like to sit and switch off house is quiet at the moment as well because everyone's out it's not very often nobody is in the house it's not very often the house is empty there's usually always some even when it's work days because um both my husband and i work from home but um my husband's in the office today and i don't have to go in I'm in between, ouch, in between lunch, well, in lunch. <laughs> so I just thought I'd do half an hour of stitchery before it all starts back up again. So we, you can probably hear actually the clock ticking. I've got I've got a grandfather clock sat right next to me, not in this room, but it's just outside the, my room. But um, my room hasn't got a door on it. It's like an archway, my little sanctuary. But I can still hear the hustle and bustle of the house. When I've just glanced outside, I'm sat right next to the window. Oh, and there's a blackbird just come. He's just popped up and started feeding from the, um, what do they call it? The suet block that I've put out and I've put out some, I was saying in one of my other videos, I've put out some little worm things like meal, meal worms. I've just seen some sparrows as well. It's all coming to life. The garden is it's lovely when you see, um, you see all the wildlife in the garden. So, yeah, he's just gone now. Gone over the fence. Whether he's going to feed his chicks or not, I don't know. Oh, and the robin. See the robin? It's in the tree. A little bit further away. It's a bit of a drizzly, rainy day today. I don't, I don't know whether it's stopped yet, but it was... I think it stopped because I can see the water in the bird bath. But um, it has been raining. I went out this morning because I had to come pick up some um, flour and eggs. It's um, Shrove Tuesday today here in the UK. I don't know whether um, anybody else celebrates. It has pancake day as well. So um, we have pancakes today. Um, and <laughs> I... Um, in the past, I have been known to buy ready-made ones because I don't like making pancakes. Um, and I forgot to buy some 
last week ready for today um, and I went out today to get some they hadn't got any that sold out obviously because everybody else wants them so I've had to buy flour and eggs I've already got the milk um, but um, last night we were we were sat around the dinner table um, just talking and um, about how many everyone was going to have and I says oh shall I just do one each um, and we can have it like as a pudding and my daughter my youngest daughter just looked at me and you know that face that teenagers can throw at you that says no that's not going to work for me at all um, I need a selection of pancakes so that I can have a topping because she's got um, she's got lemon she's got squirty cream she's got she picked them all out so well not she's just got them we've all got them but obviously um oh we've got chocolate spread she picked out and it's like i've got to have a pancake for each of my toppings please so um yeah i'm going to have to make pancakes from scratch so yeah that's what i'll be doing later Um, I do like pan I, I like eating pancakes, but I just don't like making them. But it is only one day of the year, isn't it? Oh, actually, I've just realised. I've just remembered my other daughter, my oldest daughter. She's she said she didn't want tea tonight because she's going out with her friend. They're going to um, the pub and they're going to, I think it's quiz night tonight on a Tuesday. I'm sure they said they went last week, she went last week as well on a Tuesday. I think they, they came third in the pub quiz last week, so that was really good. I've only got to cook for four before tonight. Right, so that's kind of what I'm doing to give you just an idea. And just stitching, stitching, stitching. I think I'm going to change my stitches. So I'm going to just tie this one off. Like that. I don't know what I've done there. I've done a rubbish knot. I'll salvage it, I'll just leave it like that, it doesn't matter. So that's my first little little set of stitches anyway. So I'm going to do one more colour and then I'm going to leave it because I've got to get back to work. So this was like like I say, it's just a little a little project that you do whenever you've got the time just to sit and take a minute. For you you have to do something else life gets in the way so I'm going to just here do some little cross stitches on the edge oops going to go from here because this corner is fraying a little bit I'm just having to be a little bit more careful So that's 
really all I'm going to do today. I mean, I may find myself with another half hour or so later, spare. So I may do a little bit more. So I'm going to just pop that there. I'm going to carefully roll it up and then just pop all my bits and pieces into my little tin of treasures. And I can, I'm going to save this, this thread because I've, I've took it off, but it's there's still quite a little bit on it. Oh, do you know what I was going to do as well? I really forgot about this. I have also got this. This is my little jar of oats. So this is, look at this. What I should really do is use these, shouldn't I? Rather than choose choose more, that's what I'm going to do. So I've got these. I'm going to pop my um, my other threads back and use these. I mean, there are reds and blues, but I'm going to, I probably won't use the, I might do some pouching maybe with the wool. I don't know. But um, so I'm going to use them, those. So they're going to go into my little tin of treasures and use those as well. I forgot about those. I know there's something else. So this is going to be, if I forget, <laughs> if I forget that I've picked those out, this is going to be, I mean, I'm making something from nothing because this could have, this would have all been thrown away. You know, these little threads would have all been thrown away. So making a treasure from nothing. So, you know, just all bits that were thrown away. And there's my reel of my cotton reel as well. So that's going to go in. So that's it for today. And um, I may get I may get another 10, 15 minutes or so later on to um, to do a bit of stitching. So I'll do a little bit more, but that's kind of like a pickup and whatnot. So I'll probably come back in maybe a week's time just to show you how far I've got and maybe show you how I'm going to, um, you know, add some, I'm just trying to find them, some like some laces and... Um, laces and trims onto it as well so um yes we'll do that next week so thank you so much for watching me and um, i hope to see you again soon so take care okay bye bye <laughs>